Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with more Job, chapter 8, I'm sorry, chapter 7 this time around. I love this book the more and more I read it. It is so raw and it is so real, because Job is having the hardest time of his life, and a harder time than pretty much almost anyone else in history has ever had, because he suffered so much. And he, he's just brutally honest. I am... So falling in love with this book. Tonight we're going to go with Job chapter 7. I'm going to start with verse 11. This is Job talking at this point. Therefore I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. You know what? I know that in some Christian circles and churches, complaining is a sin, complaining is bad. And certainly even the Bible does back that up. When, um, when the leaders were complaining against God and against Job, or not Job, against Moses, uh, some of them got killed for that, for, them being, for their rebellious, stiff-necked heart. I just want to say right now there's a difference between having a stiff-necked heart and an unbelieving heart and having a heart that is simply broken, not understanding what's going on, and saying, you know what? This is a crappy situation, and I'm going to complain about it. I do not believe Job did anything wrong here. Not at all. Even at the end of this book, God still did not... Even though Job says, I repent of myself in dust and ashes, God goes on to say, um, to, I think it was Bill Dad, I think it was that one of the three, he said, you guys need to prepare an offering, and you need to sacrifice that offering, Job will pray for you, and I will forgive you, for he has spoken what is right about me, you have not. That's at the end of the book of Job, so I cheated. I've already been to the end. I already know what's waiting. So yeah, when you're in the middle of hell on earth, and when you're in the middle of just horrible things, just be honest with God. Just say, God, this sucks. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? He already knows what you're thinking. Be honest with him. The, qu the big question is, do you have a heart that trusts him, or do you have a heart that seriously doubts him? Therein, I think, lies the difference between sin and not sin. At the exact same time, though, if you're having very real doubts, I would, even if your heart isn't a place that is sinful, I'd still say go to God and take your complaints straight to him. Just say, God, you know, this sucks, and you're not doing your job. Why am I going through this? The reason, and even if that is a sinful mindset and a sinful heart, you are who you are. You don't have the power to change who you are. God does. So take that sinful, horrible, even stiff-necked heart. Don't take it to your preacher. Don't take it to your friends. Go straight to God and tell him what a lousy job he's doing. This is probably one of the most borderline blasphemous messages ever preached but i mean it with my whole heart i mean if 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 you have a heart that is leaning against god go to him and let him know tell him tell him it's not like he doesn't already know it's not like you're not already a sinner you are so if that is an area that you're struggling with and that if that if your life is just really bad right now and you think god's at fault go to him and let him know don't, it's kind of, and I would even say, you know, don't bother just complaining to your friends or complaining to whoever will listen about the situation. Don't take it to a bunch of people that can't help you. You're simply trying to get a load off. That is complaining. That is even gossiping. Gossiping against God? I don't think that's impossible. If you have a complaint with someone, generally the biblical method is take it to them, clear the air. If you have something against God, take it to him and clear the air. Job will talk about that. He's going to come to that at some point very soon. At the end of this chapter, he even goes and says in verse 20, Have I sinned? What have I done to you, O watcher of men? Why have you set me as your target so that I am a burden to myself? Going up a verse to 19, How long will you not look away from me and let me alone till I swallow my saliva? That's a straight-up complaint out of the bitterness of his soul. And he took it straight to God. So even if your heart is in a bad place... There's, there's a difference between, I think, you know, a sinful, stiff-necked doubting and just a, my gosh, I trust God, but man, life is really hard right now. Why is he allowing this? In either case, take it straight to God. Take your complaint 
straight to him. If it's about him, if it's about what he's doing, tell him. Let him know because you're not going to get any answers until you go to the source. So yeah, that was a, a lot of Christians would take issue with this message, but biblically I don't see anything wrong with it. I think I, those verses back me up with what I just said. And again, with at the end of Job, where God still did not charge Job with anything sinful, and he even said what he said in his mouth was right. I find no problem with what Job did. And I also don't see, if, if you're really going through a hard time and you're doubting God, I don't see any other way than to take it straight to the one you have the problem with, and that's the Almighty. So yeah, let me know what you think of this message. By all means, light up the comment section down below. I love you. God bless.